Well, welcome back, and of course, welcome to the final segment of the program. This is What's in the Papers. A quick look at some of the stories that have been published in today's papers. Tabby decided to take all the food, and she has dashed off, so we unfortunately we can't see her. It's just me. Uh, as is always the case, we have the Daily Times and the Nation on the front page of the Daily Times newspaper. Uh, there is a story that reads, CSOs afford ACB on State House Chief. Partly, the story says International Monetary Fund, IMF First Deputy Managing Director, Ajita Jopnav, has held President Laszlo Chakwera for the tough decisions he has taken to show up at the economy, raising hopes among Malawians that the country may soon get the much-needed extended uh, credit facility. But there is also a similar story uh, on the front page of the National Newspaper, so I may have to skip that one and progress to the business page of the Daily Times newspaper. Today is a Wednesday, so surely we'd never go without talking about business stories. Bank loans get more expensive. Consumers accessing loans from financial service institutions will continue to dig deeper into their pockets to service their loans as commercial banks continue to adjust upwards their reference rate, a benchmark for other rates, including interest rate. There are more stories in the Daily Times newspaper uh, for exclu exclusivity over the stories that have been published therein. Make sure that you grab a hard copy going at 1,200 kwacha. You can also subscribe to the e-edition by visiting www.times.mw forward slash e-edition. So with half the price of the hard copy, you get access to the Daily Times newspaper with an over two years archive of the very same paper, the Malawi News Plus and the Sunday Times. But for in-depth analysis over the business stories that are in the Daily Times and the Nation, make sure that you don't miss today's edition of Kogwanji coming through at 9.30 this morning. Coming through at 8 o'clock will be our English News Bulletin, but a big shout-out should surely go out to the technical team that has put things together for you guys to be in a position to see what you have seen this morning. And another one to Amarelli's Hotel for offering us the space plus the food. In the background, we had Mr. Nelson. Kondwani Mohone is at the FCC. My name is Yanko Seonda. We're still selling through a period of World Terrorism Month. Get to catch up with us to find out what gets to happen tomorrow. This has been Breakfast Live. Until tomorrow, goodbye, God bless you.